Ow! My low. Okay guys, so today we came to uh, a massive fitness park. I was supposed to come with Chris, but he's not feeling too great. So it's just me and these two big dogs. But um, you know, this is a really important thing that you need to do with your dog, just because of, you know, they need to be socialized. And if you didn't socialize your dog at a young age, you know, it does get harder. So as hard as it is, don't give up, just keep going and I know it feels so hard sometimes. I've experienced it with Bryson. He really struggled with reactivity. But uh, the best thing you can do is learn dog body language and stuff like that and just see what triggers them and just exposure, exposure, exposure. You know, you will get through it. But um, I was hoping to film with a, a chest mount today, but it broke, which is annoying. But um, that's all right. But I'm going to have to have both of these two with just me. So it's a lot of dog, but um, yeah, I just wanted to say the importance of it and whatever you're going through with your dog, you'll be able to get through it. Just take time, just have patience and just trust and believe that they will get there, you know? I know it's not easy sometimes and it's always testing, 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 but you will get there. So, you know, just enjoy the process and as horrible as it is, once you've overcome that and you will, you will overcome it with time, with persistence, with training. You know, you'll have a dog that you love and you have overcome that. So that's something that you can help other people with when they're suffering with it. You know, sometimes it's nerves and sometimes it's aggression and just learning all of that, you'll be so much better for it. So um, anyway, that's it and we're going to go on a walk and I'll try to film some stuff now. They haven't really been out anywhere really busy for quite some time, so we decided to take them to this massive, like, uh, track. Well, I say we, like, Chris is not coming. Okay, come. Bryson. Yeah, so it's just me and Bryson and Rilo, so I'll, uh, have to hope that Bryson walks with me nicely because there's lots of people. Right though. Right. Sit. That was really naughty. <sighs> okay, so this is like one of the most major parts of owning a big dog is like socialising it. I mean, if you want your dog to be big and scary and like, you know, just guarding. Yeah, you don't want to socialize it fair enough. It's just guarding something. But, you know, if you want a family companion, you want to take your dogs to different places, you need to take them out. You need to, you know, the more they get used to certain things and places and people, the better they'll be and the easier it'll be for you. Okay, so there's loads of dogs barking. Don't know if you can hear now, but you know, Bryson is fine. He's just chilling, smelling. You know, Rilo's uh, got a lot more going on in his mind, so he is on the lead, walking nicely. You know, if Bryson does anything that I'm not keen on, he will be going on the lead as well. But yeah, so I'm just going to be kind of like showing you the walk like this rather than filming myself, but I will be talking. And, um, yeah, just talk about whatever, really, but hopefully I won't be too boring. Bryson is off lead. I feel comfortable enough with him off lead. You know, if you have any doubt, you know, just better to be safe than sorry. Bryson! Yeah, socialisation is so important, but, you know, if you've uh, adopted... A puppy or a dog you, no matter how old you know you can address the problem they will get better it just takes time and dedication you know no dog is perfect and a lot of people show like the perfect dog and they show the dog at its best but like dogs have off days just like humans do so don't be too harsh on yourself you know just have fun with them enjoy life with them they're only here for like 12 years you know, take them to as many places as possible. Let them explore, let them learn, be patient with them. 
definitely be patient with them. And the thing about the Rottweiler is um, you're pretty much buying a toddler or adopting a toddler. Ever since Bryson was a pup, he just followed us so closely behind. Whereas Rilo, like ever since he was a pup, he just run off to strangers and all sorts. So you can't really trust him. You know, he's got better. The older he's got, the more loyal he's got, but he's still got a lot to learn. When it's really busy, I definitely want Bryson on the lead. But it's not too busy, so, you know, it's a lot more easy to um, get his attention. Yeah, just for reference, like Bryson did used to have some really bad uh, reactivity, but because we were living between the UK and Thailand, we had to put him in care, and this was at like two months. So when we came back to pick him up at three months, he was really reactive. He would like try to launch at like even kids. So obviously I don't think you can get much more embarrassing than that. But we would still take him everywhere with us. We would take him to like Patia, and that is busy, really busy there. Um, we still do, we take Rilo and Bryson to Patia. We were actually planning to do that, but um, yeah, we couldn't because of like other circumstances but instead I decided to take them to this big park and um, it's very busy here there's lots of people there's lots of dogs so it's absolutely perfect for training and obedience and just ignoring things you know that's what you want to be able to teach your dogs just to ignore things and you know I do have some videos where I'm walking and like our dogs will just kind of like want to push the dogs away but you know, they do have their limits, but look how much Brighton doesn't care. Yeah. But yeah, anybody that is going through that, you know, they will have stages where they're really bad. And, you know, if they can just learn to ignore things, you know, Bryson can defend himself, so I don't have to worry about him. Um... But yeah, they have a fear period. So Rilo is actually in his fear period. I feel like Rilo, um, Rilo developed a bit later than he should have. I feel like he's a few months behind, if I'm honest. Um, but once you can get your dogs just to ignore things like this, like if I try and give them a command, Rilo, Rilo, sit. Good boy, Bryson. Bryson, come. Bryson, sit. Sit. Good boy. Okay. So you can see, I've given them a command. There's loads of stuff going on. And as stressful as that sounds, you know, the more stressful situations you put them in and like they can learn to ignore, just like humans, you know, they will be better. Like I'm sure there's so many things that you find stressful, but if you're not exposed enough to it it's going to be hideous so um yeah you know i'm really proud of where bryson is today you know he's a good boy and i know riley will be too but he's definitely not trusted off the lead around here because he just uh has a bit more obedience and a bit too much fearfulness but bryson very impressed Anyway, so now, well, there's people like ho holding their Pomeranians because they're scared of our dogs. It's literally the perfect place for your dogs to learn. And yeah, they've done really well there. So, I'll, um, well, we're about to go past people and cars and, you know, you want to let them have a proper sniff of things and just allow them to feel their emotions, but ignore it. Just don't encourage it. and. You know, dogs do go off of human emotion. But look, Rilo just sees I'm calm and he'll learn to do with it. You know, everything's all right. Yeah. You know, you want to be a really good, strong leader for your dogs. You... Bison, out the toilet. Come on, we'll go water now. Yeah, you want to be a... You're basically a role model for your dog. If you're feeling an emotion, they are going to feel it too. Okay, so it's really busy like around this time. 
Um, there's people like coming to play football and there's people running, there's people cycling. There's all sorts. Bryson! Good boy. Um, there's all sorts, but we're going to take them. I'm going to take them swimming. Up. Good boy. Hey, Rilo. You're not trusted. Bryson, Rilo, come. Rilo. Rilo, come. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Rilo. Brycey. Rilo. Good boy. Rilo, sit. Rilo. Sit. Good boy, sit. He's scared because it's wobbly. Sit, Rilo, sit. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. Bryson, come. Sit. Sit. Good boys. Good boys. That's a good boy. Okay, let's go to water. Let's go to the water. Let's go to the water. The water's really close, but... Right. Rilo, hill. Yeah, I'm still like really new to YouTube, really. You know, I'm not exactly doing any work very well and I have some nice people that give pointers, but you know, this is really important to me because it literally means that I get to stay here with Bryson and Rilo. You know, if I am monetized on YouTube, but... Um, you know, if I'm not making enough money and my money's going faster than going out faster than it's coming in, then um, I have to go back to the UK and find a carer again, which has never gone very well. So um, if anybody's got any pointers without being rude and insulting, although people seem to love doing that, um, please just let me know in the comments. And, you know, I love to answer any questions or if you have any queries or want to know certain things about the dogs please let me know bryson come come rilo sit okay we're trying rilo lead now sit rilo okay so we've got to wait for the cars bryson bryson's a lot smarter but you know he should still be very obedient right Okay. Rilo, hill. Good boy. Yeah, you know, a lot of what, a lot of what people show online is like just the best of what their dogs can do. Bryson, stop going so fast. But, um, you know, I just rather be real what it's, is like to own these dogs and you know i am a first time like big dog owner so this is very new to me right we're gonna go to the water bryson is upset there's a car i want to be run over yeah it's weird like starting something like youtube i am um, to be honest i'm actually was so shy in school so to be walking around literally filming myself like my first thoughts were like that's so so vain but now, I just don't care. I really don't. My priority is Brycey and Rilo. And if I can stay here with them, that's everything I need. So, yeah, you can judge me. That's all right. Thanks for commenting. I don't have a ball. Okay, so it's literally just me. That's windy. I'm going to have to tie my hair up. Um, yeah, it's actually really nice to like just come and take your dog's places. And oh my god, oh, Rilo's in. Bryson, get in. Bryson won't get in unless I throw him something. But it is so nice to be able to just come and walk with your dog's places and not have to worry about like the way that they are and I know when you're in the moment of having a reactive dog it feels like it's going to last forever or like 
or well, any issues with your dogs really it feels like it's going to last forever they both had different issues like Riley was just a lot to handle and um I don't think people who get Rottweilers quite understand like how much they are how much energy and how much patience you need to have them uh Bryson you know his energy levels are a heck of a lot lower but you will struggle with like well I don't know if it is but I struggle with his reactivity obviously so you know any dog that you have you're most likely going to have problems and there are perfect dogs that literally need no training but you know don't think it's going to be that way or you're just going to set yourself up for failure you might get lucky but if you don't you're going to be crying left right and center but um yeah I'm going to try and find something to throw for Brycey and then yeah that's it probably just been rambling but um yeah Rilo Brycey okay I've just got to uh show you Bryce and how much he loves the water so I'm gonna get a rock for him go 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 Rilo yeah that's a Rilo trait I don't know if it's a Rottweiler trait but it sure is a Rilo trait okay go Woo! aqua dog yeah if you if you want like either of these dogs just make sure you love like you love nature really and you love trying new things and mastering things because of you can't just get these and do nothing you know expect a lot of hard work because of it is and um don't just get them because you think they're cool or they're cute yeah i'm not joking when i say it is hard work especially the rottweiler bryson was not too hard work apart from his reactivity but this one wouldn't let you sleep and we all know what it's like to be running on zero sleep what are you doing bryson You alright, Bryce? He's just swimming and swimming and swimming. Bye bye. Bye love. Okay, I don't think it's very easy for them to get up here, so I'm gonna have to give them a hand because they look like they're drowning. Oh, oh my gosh. Not ideal, Bryce, Blue Bear. Right, 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 can you draw a hand? Oh. God, that could have ended badly. Go on, pull yourself up, pull yourself up. Let me get your scruff. Let me get your scruff. Oh, I almost lost my phone then. Oh, Rilo, I just saved your life. Chain. Chain. Right, eh? Why not? Why not? Good boy. That's a good boy. Bracey, hello, good boy, good boy Bracey, ready, come on then, you want to go back don't you, he literally never wants to come out, okay so it's lead time now, just got to get Rilo back and then we're going to go where it's busy and see how they get on, one thing with owning like these dogs, I would say any dogs, oh, is you just got to be okay with shouting, <laughs> I just got used to it now, but everybody knows Riley's name near where we live. Something that I see a lot is that at the minute is just like with these big dog people coming and they're like, that's a big dog for you, isn't it? If it's a woman, but I don't understand. People just get phased so easily nowadays. I'm sorry if you have been phased by that, but like it's just some people's sense of humour and like people are the way they are because of how they're raised and asking them to like, change their sense of humour or be more considerate I don't know it just seems pretty harsh to me because you know it makes them happy it makes them smile you know you're the only one with the problem really like everybody has to change the way they, that they are for other people and personally I don't really agree with that um you know everybody has a different sense of humour it's not really harming you just joke along with it it's a joke it's not it's not serious life doesn't need to be that serious you know just enjoy life you're not here for very long we'll all be dead 
in 100 years. These guys in 12 years, that's sad. I'll be um, in my 30s, probably have kids. My kids will definitely meet these guys, so that's cool. And just look at life in like a nice way. It's not perfect and it doesn't have to be that deep. Okay, so this is how we look, if you can see. Pricey, come back. This is us, Rilo, Bricey, Rilo. Hey. Yeah, like if your dog, if your dog is like really locked eyes on something and you don't want them to, you know, correct it straight away. Just give them a yank, you know, otherwise they're gonna have all these emotions and stuff like that. So don't be afraid to just give your dog a yank, honestly. It's better than them launching and it hurts a lot less for them. You right, Bri? Huh? You right, Bri, Bri? The sun is setting. So we'll go down, just see if we can pass some people and just get them used to it. You know, it has been a while since we've proper taken them out. Some are busy. Um, yeah, so I'll probably just sit down, watch people walking past and then go back. Look at that, so overgrown. Come on then, good boy. Bricey, look what you're doing. You, you're tripping me. Hey, hey, hey. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Okay, so there's going to be loads of people now, so I've got their lead a bit tighter, but just see how they got on and if they um, gain my trust, I'll loosen it. Boy. Yeah, there's loads of people out now. Probably go to like a restaurant and see how they get on there. Right, which side, bro? It's very wobbly. The camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's loads of people, so I'm going to get them to do some command. Rilo, come. Come. Bryson, come. Come. Rilo, sit. Good boy. Bryson, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, come. 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 Good boy. Time. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of people running now. So it's really busy. Perfect for them exercising. Right, right. Rilo. Rilo. You know, even something as simple as like just calling their name and making sure that they're looking. Bryson. Bryson. Good boy. Right? Come. I think he knows that the car's around here, so. But, you know, I'm in charge, so they've got to listen to me. They can't just go off of what they feel like doing or what they think's right. You know, when you're walking your dogs, you are literally the leader. If you're not acting like the leader with these, then they'll take that role easy. Right, Bryce? Huh? You need me to be the leader? No, Mum. Right, right. Good boy. Look at you guys. Good boys. Okay, I'm going to practice that off leash. There is people here, so you know. You know, if they're not listening, then that's it. They lose their privilege. Right, come. Bryson, come. Sit. Stay. Okay. Stay. Okay, come. Rilo, here. Yeah, if you don't give your dog, like, any trust at all. Rilo, 
then how are they going to grow? You know, you've got to give them a bit of trust, a bit of faith. And just see how they get on. You know, if they're not ready, then you've got to go back and try again. Right, look, come. There's a runner now, so. Oh, I'm going to assume that they're going to come. Bryson, come. Rilo, sit. Sit. Bryce. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they done well. Like, Riley didn't try anything, so I'm pretty happy. And there's nobody here, and the car is over there. So that's it now. Pretty much, well, it's not actually it. Now we've got to take them to the restaurant. That's where they struggle because obviously you've got people coming right up to you and talking. People aren't minding their own business anymore. But if there's no struggle, then there's no point. Yeah, I've got a really cute video, a really old one of them there. I'll put it in the video. Okay, back in the car. Just about to get some food, so we're just gonna take them for a quick stroll, make sure they're not too restless, make sure they don't need the toilet, and then see how they behave. Okay, yeah, so you definitely don't wanna be taking your dogs anywhere busy if they've got loads of energy, so you definitely wanna just make sure that they've got that energy out. Otherwise, you know, it's just, Hard for them to manage their emotions, it'll be a heck of a lot easier. Bryson, hey, are you walking me? Because you look like you're walking me. Stop it. I know that looks really brutal, but you know, if they're dragging you like that, they're going to be more reactive because they think they're in charge. But perfect now. Bryson. Rah! Hello! Hey! Aww. <laughs> Bryson! What are you doing? <gasps> Bryson! He tried to bite the bloody thing! Naughty! Okay. <laughs> tried to bite the mic. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Okay, you're going to trip me up. Hey, Bryson. Milo. Stop. Okay, so this is literally the last part of their socialisation day. Just getting food. This is Bryson's worst. And um, Milo is okay, I think. Rilo is just lying down straight away. Sorry, Rilo, I did not mean to disturb you. You can go back to sleep. But Rilo is just chill, chilled out. Bryson, are you going to chill out? Chill. Chill, Bryson. No, he's doing, he's doing well. Hopefully he lies down and, you know, they both seem pretty good, to be honest. I'm really happy with their progress. Okay, so, like, this was one of the hardest parts for us with Bryson. We really struggled bringing him here. So if you have a reactive dog, you'll definitely have the same thing. And, um... You know, when they like to hide under the table, that's just showing their anxiousness. So, um, yeah, you just have to be aware of that and, you know, try not to give them too much attention because the more you're petting them and the more attention you're giving them, the more you're feeding into it and they're kind of getting what they want by having those feelings. So I find the best thing to do is just like pretty much ignore them and make sure they don't get too close while they're like learning and dealing with those feelings. But, you know, they need to, um, they need to feel without you getting too involved with that. Just let them feel and, you know, re 
repetition will get you there quicker than anything else. Yeah, that's my advice from what I've learned with Bryson. Okay, they're finally settled now, but they think they're gonna get some food. I feel bad because I haven't eaten yet though. Sit, hey. Good boy. Okay, settle. Sit. What the lettuce? This is Rilo's favourite. Sit. The absolute. Oh, I say that. He will eat that. That's one of his faves. Lovely letters. Okay, that's it now. They both done really well. Literally no problems at all. Now we're going back, but we're still hungry. The food was not that good. So that's it. End of the video. I hope you enjoy. And thank you for watching, as always. <laughs>